But when you come back to zero, when you come back to understanding that it's all Hashem, so then in that moment everything is very simple. Then you don't need much to be happy. You just oh, thank God I put fill in today. You don't need a golden fill in to be happy. <coughs> just your your leather fill in and you're happy. You go to shul. You don't need to have the, the greatest uh, synagogue of I don't know which community. But Knesset, I have. I can put fill in on. I have my place. I can pray. I can all kosher food. Great. You know, you know you're not losing your mind after. Oh, you don't know. I have to when I need. That's in the beginning. When you find something in the end and you have it and it's yours, pat besalo, you have your bread in your basket and you know that it's mine, it's that, that's the Yiddish guy, that's the way I want to live. So then you don't need no more excitements and, 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 uh, and, uh, and wild experiences like Baal Tshuva in the beginning of his Tshuva, he needs to go to new springs, to lakes, Mayanot, he needs to go to Arizal, you have to go to Kibbutz Adikim, Rabbi Shimon, have you ever been to Uman? You're and all excited, oh, Baruch Hashem, after that you thank God, few years inside of the Gdusha, inside of the Tshuva, so Baruch Hashem, you want to go and thank God, and if it's, you have children, you have wife, you need to consider other people's schedule, other people's time. You, you receive more soul, you receive more heart, so you can feel more and it's relaxing you. It brings you to be less wild and, and, and confused because also the light of the beginning, it's a, it's a mistake. It's good because it's coming to balance you.